In this problem, we have a pair of parallel lines, M and N are parallel, and they're cut by a third line, a transversal. And we should know a lot about these kinds of figures already. Uh, they're telling us that the measure of angle 2 is 135 degrees, and so right away, you should know a couple of things. I'm just going to deal with the, the angles that they've labeled here, 1, 2, and 3. You should know the measure of angle 1. These are vertical angles, so this is 135 as well. And you should know the measure of angle 3 uh, because the same relationships down here hold up here because these two lines are parallel. So this is also 135 degrees. There are also names for these angles here. So 2 and 3, they occupy the same position on each of these intersections. So 3 is on the upper right, 2 is on the upper right. That makes them corresponding angles. Um, 3 and 1 are exterior angles. They're on the outside of these two parallel lines. And they're diagonally across from each other, so they're what we call alternate exterior angles. I think that's all that's really relevant here. Let's um, see if we can go ahead and fill in the blanks that they're asking for. Let me grab a different tool. So it says, we see that angle 2 and angle 3 are what? And I think in this case, they're just looking for the fact that they're, they're corresponding angles. All right. And since lines M and N are parallel, 2 and 3 are what? And in this case, I think what they're getting at is the fact that corresponding angles are the same measure. And the word they like to use in geometry for that is congruent. And then it says, so the measure of angle 3 is what? And we took a moment to figure that out before we started reading this. So that's 135 degrees. Now, it says we see that angles 1 and 2 are what? The relationship between 1 and 2 is that they're vertical angles. And vertical angles are also congruent. They also have the same measure. So the measure of angle 1 is also 135. Okay. Then it says, therefore, 1 and 3 are what? Well, if 1 and 2 are congruent and 2 and 3 are congruent, 1 and 3 are also congruent. So I think that's what they're looking for there. This is almost sounding like a proof. We also see that 1 and 3 are what? Well, they are as I mentioned before, they are alternate exterior angles. And then it says the relationship between 1 and 3 is an example of the following rule when parallel lines are cut by a transversal. And the rule, I'm going to move this down here because it's a little bit long, is that alternate exterior angles are congruent. So there we go. That is a little bit of work um, with uh, facts about these figures where parallel lines are cut by transversals.